Hey everyone, uh, I just noticed that a lot of searches on YouTube that link to my videos so far uh, are on how to create dungeons in Roll20. And it's fairly easy, and that's what I want to show you today. So here I am, I went to a virtual tabletop in Roll20. And these are my current campaigns or copies of campaigns. My main one, Dragon Coast Adventures. But uh, let's go into this one. All right. Here is part of a small map that I uh, that I did a few weeks back. Let me remove the fog of war and dynamic lighting real quick. Actually, I'll just turn the GM opacity down. And there we go. Now this was a very quick and easy uh, map to make. This is just inside of a house and with everything off it does not look like it uh, could be anywhere on a map. But the players view it differently. And this is how they see it. They see it like this. They see a walls right, some walls right here, kitchen, and the dynamic lighting is turned on, so they don't really see all of it right now. But let me go back into uh, GM mode real quick. All right. So. Let's try that again. See there's a little door right there. If we went on the other side of the door, you'd have that little room right there. I have it updated on drop, but uh, let me undo that real quick. And this way I can drag the guy around. I do not recommend this if you are a supporter or mentor on Roll20. I do not recommend that you have this option enabled for play just because players can you know drag their token around and see what's on the map without you knowing. Um, I'm not saying that every player would do that but there's a there is the risk of that and you don't want them to spoil the fun. So anyways let's uh let's get rid of all this stuff right here we're going to create a new page you go to page settings um, specify how big you want it default map size is 25 by 25 I'll just click OK click on it I'll zoom out a little bit now there's two there's a couple different ways you can do this um, one is find preset dungeon slabs that have rooms already built in them and you can just drag and drop and that works like this pretty much alright here's some of my stuff and uh, I would just have say this and I'll drag it on there and then you resize it how you want you know you can either do this or 
Hmm. Oh, we gotta go to layer map layer. Go to map layer over here. And then go to advance and align to grid. Alright, create a three by three box with the tiles that are in here. So let's say one, two. It's really hard to do it on this one just because there's not that much to go by. We're gonna go like that. That seems about right. That's close, close enough. And see how it uh, has these tiles right here aligned to this grid that's on the paper already. So that's one way to do it, and uh, probably the easiest way. But let's say you do not have those. So let's delete that. Here's another way you can do. Do it here. Let's see. Let's go to this art library right here. You go to the maps, tiles, and textures. And let's say, all right, I need some wood flooring. Wood floor. All right, and uh, here's some wood floor right here from the marketplace app, but they also search the web when you do that. That's one of the cool little features if you can get it to work for you. Um, I only say that because sometimes it's it's hard to find the right things you want when it goes outside of the marketplace and your own art library. So, but luckily floor is pretty easy, and a lot of these are from Dungeonie and that's a really good site on its own to go to for resources but let's just drag this on there alright and we're just gonna control C or command C if you're on Mac and paste we're just gonna do that a couple times until we have a, a standard block Go make it a little bit bigger. Now, if you already have a a, a shape that is in your mind, um, just start placing it out how it fits in your mind. You know, so you want a little room over there and like a hallway right here. You know, and then you want like an entrance way right there. Alright, that's that's good enough for now. So now what we can do is go to the polygon line tool. Alright, and there's a couple different ways to do this. Um Here's, here's way one. All right, select black or a brown or a dark color. I'm going to go all out black and I'm going to make the line thickness large. All right, and I'm going to snap to the grid by holding shift. I'm going to leave a spot. Oh, that's a little weird. Let's undo that. That's that's bad. Bad math. Wanna retry that. Hold shift and click. There it goes, that's much better. And then right click to end it. And now it's a set piece. Now you can start over here. I'm leaving a little spot right here for a door. And so hold shift again. We're just gonna go right to there. No, we're going to do that. And uh, now we're going to finish it up right here. And let's, let's do well, 
let's throw. Let's, no, let's not do that. Oops. There we go. So there we have our entrance way. But now what about all this? We don't want this to be a huge room. So let's do this. And it's going to be a little hallway. It leads into a room right here. It's going to be a weird room. Very short, but long. Yeah, short but long. You know what I'm saying. It's a doorway right there. And I'll right click. So there we go, there's a little door right there. A little door, probably either right here or right here. Or you can leave it open or have some drapes or something. But let's finish this off. Alright, so then hallway continues this way and turns up here. Oh, come on. And that right there. Now let's say we want, let's see here, we want this to turn right here. So we go down, alright, so now we have this little, another hallway right here. say opens up into a room. Just like that. Alright, so now we have all this other space, so let's start this up here. you there we go and the hallway the look right there and we're gonna go left this is going to be a room right here and now we just close off the walls like this, like that, and there you go. Now, they're like, whoa, what the hell? I mean, now my players can see all this weird shit, but not necessarily. And I don't know why my, oh, let me do this, it's better. Okay, now you'd be like, all right, my players are, can see everything. Well, that's because I don't have dynamic lighting on, and Right now, I'm just going to assume that you are a base, uh, have the base thing going on right now, and you're not a supporter or a mentor, which that's fine. Um, so in that case, you just go to Fog of War enabled, click OK. So now here's what we do. You get to the reveal and hide areas right here, represented by an eye. And I made these shapes of the rooms very rectangular and square for this reason because the fog of war tool only has that option it doesn't allow you to do any circles so I go like that you know and you, you reveal how much you want the players to see if they can only see this first part then let them see that but they they will not be able to see anything else and to demonstrate that you can either go to rejoin as player or go up this page toolbar right here page settings and put the GM opacity all the way up and that is what your players see basically it's the start of a room
all right so that is that um this has been just to show you how walls are done basically how you can do walls and rooms without all those little preset dungeon tiles and kind of make dungeons your own